today we have with us Mr. Padmavani Bora, the Managing Director to the Assam Tourism Development Corporation. Assam has received the industrial status. So uh, what benefits the Assam will be reaping through that industrial policy and how will it like, uh, you know, foster all the developments related to tourism? It's uh, given the industry status to the tourism sector and we have notified around uh, 12 uh, units or areas where the people can get uh, supports and incentives that are available under industrial policy of the government of Assam, existing industrial policy. So it has been extended to tourism sector. How will it like you know benefit the people of Assam? Like how uh, will it uh, lead to the development of the tourism department of Assam? The development of the tourism sector is concerned here uh, because uh, many things are there in the tourism sector and uh, we feel that uh, Private investments would come in the tourism sector, and this uh, entire uh, objective of uh, according this industrial status to the tourism sector is exactly to uh, motivate or incentivize private investments so that in various sectors, maybe hotels or resorts or wellness centers or you know uh, cafeterias and uh, river tourism and various we have notified 12 sectors that people can invest and they can avail uh, uh, incentives and support is available uh, under the state policy so we have uh, uh, also started working on the details uh, you know uh, framework and where the people can avail such uh, subsidies or incentives what other schemes are present under tourism development how you know the subsidies work uh, regarding that the one you mentioned just before the first that is uh, industrial support industrial policy uh, having some certain sort of you know incentives that are now going to be given to the certain areas of tourism sector apart from that we have many schemes uh, like you know not exactly subsidy but we have support systems we give support to the homestays and uh, also we have government has come up with a new uh, scheme that is capital infrastructure support to the tea gardens to develop 50 tea garden across Assam and also to uh, to, to develop tea tourism as a you know uh, attractive uh, tourism sector a uh, segment in Assam so we have identified uh, you no know, not exactly identified, we have already given advertisement and we have received responses from the tea gardens and evaluation process is on. Here also, the government will give 50% uh, uh, capital support uh, in the form of, you know, you can say capital assistance or subsidy uh, to various tea gardens and 50% contribution have to be done by the tea garden owners and, uh, you know, with the upper ceiling of 2 crores, government will give 50% uh, subsidy with the upper ceiling of 2 crores. Uh, we are aiming at uh, develop, uh, development of 50 such tea gardens across Assam, uh, basically to renovate and come with some new uh, infrastructure that is required uh, in, in, in to, to make tourism or tea tourism as an attractive uh, segment. How will you describe the development under the tourism department? Uh, obviously, you have to somehow uh, also you know look at the COVID impact because uh, for two to almost two or three years, uh, industry could not do well because uh, one of the most affected areas or, uh, or uh, you know, say industry is tourism, you know, entire uh, COVID, not only India and abroad also tourism sector uh, greatly affected and Assam also we greatly affected, but uh, we are trying to overcome that whatever, uh, you know, damage the industry, uh, you know, witness during this COVID period. Now I think probably we are getting good responses and uh, this time what I got to know from various tour operators and that uh, uh, you know, the tourist inflow has increased, considerably increased and now if you see the Kaziranga and other places, uh, it's very difficult to get the rooms also in the private uh, accommodations uh, because uh, tourists started coming and their the inflow is increasing and uh, development is concerned so far as the last one year what we've seen the tremendous uh, you know uh, efforts have been made to to encourage the tourism industries and uh, we are coming with uh, various uh, hospitality projects with uh, private players uh, with having a uh, government stake in many places like Kaziranga and Manas and uh, as I also mentioned about tea tourism and uh, 
river tourism also we are recently uh, the government of assam has approved for uh, for uh, starting a hop on hop of service and uh, brahmaputra and connected five temples so it will start uh, very soon uh, once the mou is signed so a lot of things are going on uh, let's see in the coming days i think probably will have uh, much more uh, uh, you know developments in the tourism sector and we'll get more uh, footfalls from the other states of the country and also from abroad since you mentioned about the you know the hip and hop services plus uh, you not know, it will be connected to the, all the temples that are surrounded by the brahmaputra river so uh, how will it affect the temple economy as uh, new uh, avenues or service definitely going to contribute you know you can see brahmaputra carnival that is going on this is in city of assam tourism and we getting good responses not only uh, the government or the assam tourism development corporation is uh, you know uh, getting uh, income not exactly income because we invested also so we have to recover that but uh, the stalls look at the stalls the food stalls or the handicraft handloom they are also getting income from that yesterday uh, they are interacted some of the vendors and there's uh, the income what they used to sell uh, you know in the streets and all suppose uh, you know this small vendors they are earning three times the the number or the income they used to earn in the streets or other places so it means uh, the revenue generation once the services will start definitely people will go a temple economy you can say that uh, you know this is a completely a different thing you know people contribute for the development of temple economy is not depend on on the uh, you know, tourist inflow obviously that uh, will help for the development of the temple you know people will contribute uh, devotees will contribute and that uh, whatever contribution is made or donation is made that will be used for the development of the temple itself about the brahmaputra river carnival plus uh, the namami brahmaputra festival so uh, there may be other kinds of program under the tourism department so what are you know uh, planning for the future to boost the tourism here in assam experiment we have uh, tried in a very uh, short period of time to come with this concept and we are getting good responses in daily the, the footfall is uh, incre- increasing day by day and the weekends obviously the three four times the normal uh, day whatever footfall we receive so uh, next in next year what we can plan now that uh, we need to make it a product of tourism in assam because people need some avenues once they come uh, assam they need to go some certain places and if we create such infrastructures or, or this type of uh, facilities people definitely go you can see uh, tourists are coming from uh, you know states like uh, mumbai or maharashtra or chhattisgarh other places we have seen and foreign tourists also have seen coming there in the brahmaputra carnival and this one usp of the carnival is that is a, it's a island you know if you go to other places uh, where such uh, beach are there that is this bank of uh, the sea and uh, other whatever places are there but in uh, brahmaputra the usp is an island you need to go Uh, from a particular place you have to go in a ferry and then you will go discover the island this is the uh, beach with inside uh, or inside the river so it is the usp and we have to promote and i feel we will promote uh, uh, it uh, brand it and 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 the coming days then definitely we will go uh, and we will get more tourists not only from uh, india but from abroad also okay uh, sir no uh, since you mentioned like a uh, tourism sector is right now focusing on tea industry as well as uh, the river tourism so uh, like what other uh, you know the sectors are there that tourism should uh, focus in overall assam plus uh, what about the uh, remote uh, regions of assam like even they have a good potential over tourism so what about that see uh, not exactly tea or river we are focus not exactly focus obviously government priorities for the, to develop the tea tourism or river tourism we are trying to the carnival but focus more in focus on the capital infrastructure building you know we need uh, big hotels and other avenues if people come they need to uh, we have to facilitate we have to provide them the big stay so you can see this uh, you know according to industrial status the tourism sector definitely going to boost this private investment in the and coming with new hospitality hotel projects uh, apart from the what you are asking about small areas obviously it's always a concern so we are we have a homestay facilities for that we'll trying to revamp that homestay so to give more uh, benefit to you know some group or or uh, in a cooperative basis we can try to develop the homestay process or homestay facilities Thank you.
uh, how is government assisting in such kind of programs? So, uh, the whatever programs that has been going on under tourism department, just like uh, so, Brahma Butra Carnival, if you take on. So, like, uh, how much has it been invested for that project? And, uh, what about the, sir, uh, that river development project that has been going on? Uh, that is river tourism project is, uh, is not in the preview of uh, preview of the tourism department is being uh, you know managed by the smart city corporation and uh, about the deeper bill that uh, that's a ramsar site like what's the development progress for that see uh, we have some plan for the development of deeper bill as a tourism uh, destinations uh, certain obviously limitations are there in the bill. We have to uh, keep it that in mind. And whenever anything we uh, do, we have to consider various you know uh, uh, limitation we have because of the conservation uh, concerns and other things. So we are in the process to come with some some sort of uh, you know uh, tourism uh, development in the bill. Where do you see Assam in the next five years, and uh, how long is it to achieve the, you know, uh, the put? If it, if you take the tourism hub, if you, uh, if you want the Assam to be the next tourism hub of India, so how long will it take to achieve that? See, this is a very uh, subjective thing. Uh, we have to consider many things when you uh, talk about uh, Assam as a, you know, uh, one of the major tourist attractive state. But you can see from the latest survey by India Today Group that Assam has achieved uh, number two position and uh, as a tourism destination state. And also uh, in the same survey we can see that uh, uh, improved state in, in terms of tourism sector is concerned. So Assam from 18 to have uh, gone up to seven position. So we are uh, gradually uh, improving ourselves and obviously if things are uh, in the same way it go and uh, an entire uh, tourism industry also stakeholders as support and we believe that next five years will be in the first position. Any plans of uh, you know conducting tourism conclave in Assam? Not yet conceptualized, we may think later on.